You can earn $2,000 a day, even if you're a beginner, using ChatGPT4 and this online beginner method. If you look at our sales, which is what I'm talking about right now, the past 30 days is $63,000. We can roll out to the past 90 days and see more income, and I can go all the way back to 2022 and you know see a little over half a million dollars. But really, if we just look at the past 30 days, that's sufficient because... I'm talking about how you can make $2,000 a day, and it doesn't take too much math to understand that 63000 there's 30 days in a month. So if you divide that by two, that's just a little over $2,000 a day, right? So now ChatGPT4 has just come out. Like I literally got access to it today, and I'm here to tell you it's quite excellent and exponentially better than ChatGPT3 or 3.5. So it just is a world apart. So this video is specifically dedicated to ChatGPT4 and how we can use it. There are a few things that we have to do, of course, to work through this, some steps, but really the key player here is this step right here. So I got to talk about these so it makes sense as a process, but we're going to focus here and spend our time here. So if you would leave me a yes, that would be super awesome because that can help me on YouTube and help me to give you more of the videos you want by judging how many yeses there are in the comments. So we do need to drive some traffic because the, the formula here is views equal money, right? So we need to get some views. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to put up a video on the platforms like TikTok and YouTube, etc. get some views, and we're going to send them to a CRM, right? And so how does this work? Well, we do need to get a video so you can go out there to TikTok and YouTube, and there's lots of different ways you can make a video. In fact, um, in this short form checklist, which we're gonna talk about later on, it's this checklist right here. There are several different methods in here to utilize making the actual video and that sort of thing. So you can choose a method. By far, the easiest way though, is just to grab something from the Viral Video Vault. So Viral Video Vault, you can get it at this website right here. It is It, it has some checklists and stuff, but basically you have download, downloadable videos and new ones that come out each month. So if we have a look at some of the downloadable videos, for example, here, the you can see that we have all these different videos. So we have unedited videos. There's also completed and edited videos. Um, you can do it either way. I like the unedited videos because you can basically just pop them open and you can add your own music. You can add your own uh, stickers and transitions and stuff like that. I'm not really going to show you how to do that in this video because we already do show how to do that in the checklist right here, the short form checklist, which again is just the, the whole complete thing. And if I'm being honest, this is a, you know a 10 minute YouTube video. So I can't show you everything, right, to make $2,000. I mean, just showing you how to use ChatGPT4 efficiently would take more than 10 minutes, let alone a process to get you to making $60,000 a month, right? So, and you don't have to work go in that deep. You can go in less deep. That's fine. But um, basically, let's have a look at this. So if we get a video and we get, get one from the viral video vault, so an unedited video, right? And we're going to just pop it open and we're just going to throw it in um, an editor. So like CapCut, for example, here, I'll just open this up. It is a free editor and we can just do something like this. I'll just open up a project I already have so you can see what's going on. Let me bring it in here where you can see it. So it's pretty basic. We're just going to throw in some different things. So we have our video and this is the video we get from the viral video vault would look like this. We throw it in here. And again, there's videos on how to do this already, but uh, you know, we click a couple buttons and it makes the text for us. So it makes this text on the screen for us. And then we can do some filters and have it do this sort of, you see how uh, like the glow action going on there. So when we play it, you see that sort of stuff. We can make effects. We can make these transitions like so where it, as it goes um, around. So we go right here at like swirls. See the little swirl there. So there's there's some stuff we can do. This is all really easy, but basically we make it ours. And we literally, like I already made this video. Like you could literally take this video. This video is in the viral video vault. So all you have to do, the edit, unedited form comes with just this bottom section. So you can add in your own things and make it unique. Because you need to make it unique, right? When you upload a video, if it is too... 
much similar to another video, then the platform is like where you're just re-uploading the exact same video. You don't want to re-upload the exact same video. You want to change it a little bit. So you want to throw in a couple effects, throw in a couple stickers, throw in, you know, there's different stickers you can throw in here and different effects that you can make happen in transitions. So you can just swap a couple of them out and it's really like takes a few clicks and a few seconds and then it's basically yours. Of course, you want to add your link to it as well so that you get the leads. So what am I talking about? in the actual leads you want to be able to send them a lead is um somebody that's interested to buy a product right and we're not going to sell our products so let's talk about that for just a second i mean you can sell your products right so um there's actually videos on this in the checklist of deciding what to sell affiliate service your own products other services, etc. right? So you can sell your own. If you want to sell your own services, like you want to be an SEO agency or video creation, or you want to write scripts or whatever, right? You can do that. You can also uh, sell your own products if you have those, or you can just be an affiliate, which just means you're selling somebody else's product and they do the fulfillment and the customer service and deal with the refunds and deal with all that jazz. And all you have to do is get them sales and they give you money. Pretty straightforward. So there's lots of different ones. If you go to this website here, we put together a whole checklist of different companies, like tons of them that you can choose from. And these are all ones that have affiliate offers. This is not an exhaustive list, but you know, this is a lot to get you started. And you really only need um, a handful of the, like you need one to get started, but you can set up a system that sells all year long with only 24 of these. And there's hundreds on this list. Of course, there's hundreds of thousands if you just go to Google, but um, basically all you're going to do is you're going to grab one, you're going to roll down. So like, just, it doesn't really matter which one you pick. Most of the time they have this affiliate partner thing at the bottom or affiliate program, you click and you apply to be a partner. Once you're a partner, they're going to give you a link, which looks like this. It just looks like this. All it is, is is a tracking link, right? So when someone clicks on this and they sign up and they buy, then you get paid. So it tracks to you. So nothing, nothing killer there, nothing earth shattering. If you've watched any of the other videos on the channel, you already know what that is. Email capture, nothing earth shattering here. In fact, all it is, is a squeeze page like this. And this again, isn't earth shattering. If you've watched any of the other videos on this channel, I mean, I, you know, there's different ones on this channel. I've done videos about it, of course, in the checklist, the short form checklist um, under the CRM setup, the videos, I'm just building those. We'll show you how some of these are done. I haven't uploaded them yet, but um, we'll show you how to do that. So I'm getting ready to upload those videos, but that'll show you how to build the landing pages and that sort of thing. But the concept is really easy. You've seen this before. You've done this, right? You've gone someplace, you enter your email address, right? And then we actually got to put in an actual one. It's not going to work. Um, once you enter the email address, you click a button, right? And then it takes you somewhere. So it takes you somewhere like this is offering them to buy something. And so you could do this and this could be your affiliate link and then they can go here and buy and then you get paid. But then the real value, of course, you're going to make a couple of bucks doing this, right? There's some people that'll buy straight away, but the real value is just that most people don't buy straight away. It takes them more times. For example, if we pop over to Google and just look at how many impressions on average does it take before someone buys, we can see the rule of seven. So the rule of seven is nothing new. You can go find books on it on Amazon and the, there's countless pages here on the rule of seven. But basically what the rule of seven is, it's a marketing rule. And it says that a prospect needs to hear the advertiser's message at least seven times before they're going to take action and buy the product or service. It's a marketing maxim developed um, in the 1930s, right? So this is nothing new and it holds true today in 2023 and it'll most likely hold true in 2093 as well. So um, a lot of this stuff just doesn't go away. There are, there are maxims that hold true today from the 1850s in marketing because human beings haven't changed. Like your brain works the same way and the psychology works the same way. We're just not, there's just not that, you know, you've heard the expression, there's nothing new under the sun. And obviously like AI is new and chat GBT four came out today and all that sort of stuff, but that's new. But like the way the human brain works and how the people think and act just isn't new. So at least seven times. So this is at least seven times, right? So nothing really killer here. So if you make a video, so like I showed you that video, right? the uh the video here we edited and we put that up if someone watches it one time and they happen to click the link in it and they happened to just go to and you put this link in here your affiliate link and they went there maybe they'll buy maybe they won't but the rule seven says that it's probably seven times on average before they buy so you're out now the chances of them watching six more of your videos and clicking on the link six more times well that's a pretty low uh chance like it can happen 
right? But it's just, it, it's not likely. But what you can do to get those other six impressions is, you know, you get their email address like we saw, and then that goes into the CRM and you do like an email campaign. Now, what's cool about that is then you can start sending them tons of emails. So like the delay here means just like how long before the email is sent, right? So this email is sent immediately and this one a day later and a day later, but you can see there's nine emails here. So initially, and then, you know, all of these. So that means that we're actually going to send them nine emails, which will, you know, hit the rule of seven plus a couple more days. And in each one of these emails, right, is a link. So if you go here, there is a link. And so what you would be doing is you'd be putting that tracking link in here. And that way they're going to see the message. They may not even click on the link the first time or the first few times, but they're going to keep getting these emails, opening them up, reading them like, ah, oh, what is this? And, they're, and sometimes they're going to click the link and they're going to see it and they're going to do it over and over again. And so you're two, three, five, seven, eight, nine days into this. And finally they're like, okay, cool. All right, I've seen this enough. And part of it is trust. So like the rule of seven has to do with trust. So as they see things, there's a psychology thing. When people see things over and over and over again, they just become familiar with it and they begin to trust it. So it could be the most horrible thing in the world, but it becomes familiar, right? And so you trust things that are familiar. You just do. You trust them more than... And, and part of it is just familiar, so you know it. So you don't feel uncertain about it and uncomfortable about it. And when you know things and you're more comfortable with it, you're more likely to make a purchase. For example, if some brand new store pops up and they're offering, you know, some gourmet stuff, some people want to check it out and that's new, but some people are like, I'm not sure about this, especially if it's something that's really kind of edgy and it's new, it's some new nutritional supplement and it's supposed to have all these great effects. Some people are just going to jump in and grab it. There are early adopters, but if you look at an early adopter curve, it doesn't work like that. And so I haven't even got to chat GPT yet, but this is kind of laying groundwork. But so if you look at a typical adoption curve, it's kind of a bell shaped pattern. And so if we look at some pictures, you know, you, it's, you'll see the stuff like this. So the innovators are the people who just jump on it like way super early. And then there are the early adopters. These are the people who are going to buy straight away. But by and large, you have your early majority and your late majority and the laggards. So. The early adopters, they're going to buy within the first couple emails you send, but the early majority and the late majority are, you know, obviously the lion's share of people. And these are the people that fall into the rule of seven where they're getting, this is why you want to have so many emails because you're targeting this people. And then of course there'll be the laggards, which are going to come way out here and you need, you know, that's why you need to have more than seven emails, but you don't want to go to yet. You know, like personally, I don't, like by the time we're way out here, like I'm not going to make 137 emails trying to get these three people down here. I'm going to go to the next offer and get this majority chunk. And that's why this is cool. Cause you can like go down the list and then you can go down the list here. Right. So that's, you know, you just move from one product to the next. So that part's really cool. But what about these emails? So obviously you got to do a lot of emails. And so this is one really cool area, especially the chat GPT four that came out that works like totally awesome in my experience even just using it today it's crazy like it's literally crazy i was rewriting scripts and getting like exponentially better results so um here i'm clicking around too much here so if we go here and we look at this right so we got to like write an email and let's say that we have let's say we're going to do 14 days worth right because we want to hit obviously we're going to hit these people pretty easy early majority late majority those are in the rule of seven but you know, we've got to, you know, have this down curve. So let's say we're, let's just make it 10 nice round numbers. We're going to do 10 days worth of emails. If I do 10 days worth of emails, that means after 10 days, I'm done selling that product. And the majority of people that have bought are going to buy. But if Bob comes along and Sally comes along today and opts in, then I still want to have something to sell them 10 days from now. Cause I don't want to quit selling them stuff. Right. I made whatever sales, Bob, Sally, you know, Jerome and Jamil and Sandra, you know, I don't know who the people are, right? I'm just making up names. Um, these people that wh whoever has bought, bought, but then what? Well, then you just go back over here and you get another product. So, and then you get another product and you get another product and so on and so forth, right? So if you do three products a month, right? And then you run on a, I'm just making some of this stuff up. There's not right and wrong answers to some of it, right? As far as the perfect timing on a loop, right? The rule of seven, we know, and there's a bunch of other rules and, and information that we know. But as far as um, like how often to resell them a product, that varies, right? So if we were to call it coming back um, in three months and selling the same product, so you have 
you have three products for this month. So like I can take these three products and that covers 30 days because each of them get 10 emails, right? So that's 30 days with the emails. And then these three products for the next month and these three products for the next month. And then I can start back over here. So I really only need nine products to cover, you know, nine products times 10 emails is 90 days. 90 days is three months. So I can cover three months worth of products. And in three months, I can go back to product one again, right? And so the thing is, is you, you can do the research and test the different ones and pick the affiliate offers, but you want to pick your highest converting ones and just loop them because sometimes people aren't ready. And this month, they might not buy inside that 10 days, but three months from now, they might be ready to buy, right? And so that is what matters is that you get on board with that. So while I'm here, I do want to mention at this website, of course, this is the free checklist I'm talking about. The Facebook group is a really awesome place to be. Uh, a lot going on in there, people posting constantly about their successes, but also like I see a lot of questions and questions are really great because then you can go in there and answer them. And I even take the questions and then make videos about them to put in the checklist so that we can just go in here and add another one and uh, so on and so forth and answer the questions. So feel free to jump over to the Facebook group and uh, join so you can get at this website, get the checklist and join the Facebook group from there. All right, I could go on uh, about psychology and these rules and how to do this for the next hour, but I don't want to drag this out and you probably don't want to sit here for an hour. So come back tomorrow and watch tomorrow's video and I have some more information. And um, then, of course, you can just jump over to the full checklist and get all the videos and that sort of thing. And these are all shorter than this video, actually. So they're bite sized chunks you can execute on. Anyways, if we jump over here and have a look at our emails, we need to write a lot of emails because if I'm writing 90 days with emails, that's 90 emails and an email does matter. If you make a terrible email with a terrible subject, first of all, the subject matters. So if the subject's awful, no one's going to open it. And if they don't open it, you're done. No one can click the link. No one can buy from you. So you got to have a great subject that in that works with psychology because if you start looking at stuff like this like if you were familiar with the adoption curve and you're familiar with the rule of 7 and you're familiar with psychology and why people buy and how people buy and sales copy and the different strategies like problem agitate solve and all these other things right and so if you're familiar with all of st that stuff then you got it um, and you can go ahead and write it, but there are different things like problem, agitate, solve, and benefit, benefit, benefit system, and the before and after bridge, and so on and so forth, right, for different uh, strategies. And so if you don't know all these things, then you can't optimize your emails, right? Because that's part of the sales strategy. But, the, but chat GBT can, like I'm telling you, it can. And plus, then you have to write the good email that gets them to click because if your email is terrible, then they're not going to click. And again, they can't buy unless they click. So that's the thing. So how do you do this? We can go over to chat GPT. And when we go there, so um, as of today, I'm sure it'll be available free for everyone. If you have a paid chat GPT plus membership, I think it's like 20 bucks a month. I don't know. I pay for it because it's totally amazingly worth it. Those are the people that got first access to chat GPT four. And then I'm sure it'll roll into free here soon. But you know, if you're going to run the business, 20 bucks a month, I think is, you know, exponentially worth the investment because you could easily spend $10,000 a month uh, paying copywriters to write this stuff and do the things that you can do with ChatGPT for 20 bucks. So, um, or you can use the free one. So the default is like 3.5, the legacy 3.5. And you can see like the scores out here to the left, right down here, right? But if you look at ChatGPT4, it has a higher score. It's slower, but it has a higher reasoning and conciseness score. And so if we click on this and I get to ChatGPT4, immediately I can see that one, I have a cap of 100 messages every four hours, which is a lot. That doesn't mean 100 words. It means me back and forth with ChatGPT, 100 messages. And so I gave it some stuff. I asked it to write about an AI writing tool just because uh, Jasper AI is a great affiliate program. When I say great, it has a high conversion. It has reoccurring revenue and all that sort of stuff. Um, in fact, we can look at ours, for example, right here. We can see we haven't even promoted it in a while, but there's like $3,500 unpaid earnings and two or $3,000 every month, right? So um, it's just it's a good program because it has like 30% and people uh, love it. And it actually has, if you're selling it, it has a, um, their chat feature has chat GPT built in. I think it's, it's their version of it uses the GPT three model. I don't know if they're going to make it work for GPT four. I'm sure they will because GPT four will, will be available for them too. Anyways, I digress. So if we go to chat GPT and I gave it some stuff and I gave it some, some, uh, 
um, parameters and that sort of stuff. And I asked it for 10 emails. And as we noted before on the GPT-4 model, it is slower. It's better. It's more concise. It, it's more effective. And it l literally, the copy is better. Like I took some scale, sales scripts that I had that were good sales scripts. And I was like, just rewrite this and make it better. And it did. It was more engaging. It, it was stronger emotion. And it helped people to like, when I read it, it made me feel like buying more. Like it was my own products and it made me feel like buying them. Um, and so that's really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for just a second while this writes out. Cause it is taking just a minute, but like, you know, if you were doing something, obviously you just go do something else, but really like, I, like I can't think this clearly and type this quickly. Right. Cause writing good stuff takes a minute. So anyways, I'll be right back. All right, so I paused it for a minute. It's still it's still writing down here at the bottom, but we can start looking at them. So um, first of all, it labels them, which is really cool. And if it doesn't, you can ask them to, but ask it to. Uh, and then it gives you a subject, which is great. So it uses a lot of great words like unleash your creativity and the future of writing, that sort of stuff. Hey there, have you ever felt st stuck staring at a blank page? This revolutionary, transform, great words, right? So these are really great words. This is the curiosity standpoint. And then it of course gives you a place for the link. So where it says this discover in right here, this is the link that it's giving you. So this is where you would throw in your, you know, your, uh, sorry, your affiliate link right here. Pretty cool. Uh, happy writing your friends at Jasper. Obviously you just put your own name here or whatever, right? Then we have a problem agitate solve method, which is, um, where you, you know, present a problem, you make it a whole lot worse and then you present a solution. So first of all, you present the problem here and then, you know, some more pain and then, you know, a solution. And then of course, down here is the spot for a link. Then we have, uh, the third email, which is urgency. Urgency is always good you know, basically telling people to hurry up because it's the fear of missing out the FOMO, which I'm sure you probably heard of again, a place for a link. Here's a before after bridge using neuro linguistic programming, uh, which is, you know, a psychology about studying languages and how they affect people's buying super powerful stuff. And so here we, you know, we have the before and after picture and then the bridge and basically just says, you know, you can picture yourself struggling with the right words. That's right now. And now the solution imagined effortless creating engaging content. And then here's the bridge to get them from one point of where they are now to where they want to go. And um, anyways, I don't want to go into NLP and all this jazz, but we can keep going right. Here's a testimonial email. Here is a, you know, a problem agitate solve email. And so there is a character limit on chat GPT, right? So I ran out, it only was able to get six emails. And so now I would just say, okay, great. Give me thanks. Give me emails seven through 10. So now it can just go on and keep writing, but you have to actually talk to it because it does have a character limit. Um, I think it used to be like 4,096 characters, but it doesn't matter, right? Because so, okay, so I, that, like how much effort did it take me to type this right there? Nothing. <laughs> a lot less effort than like doing it myself. If you want to write all the emails yourself, I mean, you can knock yourself out, but I'm just not doing it. So, and I suggest you don't do it because if I'm being frank, unless you know all this stuff and are very good at sales copy and understanding the, you know, the methodologies like problem, I just say solve and understanding neuro-linguistic neuro linguistic programming and the adoption curve and you, the rule of seven. If you know all this stuff, like great, do it. But you're probably not watching this video if you know all this stuff um, because you're probably busy doing it because that's a super high level skill. Um, and so I still do write my own stuff sometimes, but I often have like I every time now have chat GB check it even just for like punctuation and stuff because we're all human and listen, sometimes you have a bad day and this is just killer anyways. So you can write amazing emails here and you can plug them all in. And this is the hardest part, right? I mean, making the video, like you don't have to make it because you can just go to the viral video vault. I don't even know which link it is here. Um, viral video vault and jump in here and just get the videos. They're all literally just setting right there and you can just download them. And there's more that come in all the time. And then, um, you can just download the videos. So I make the videos for you. Chase makes the videos. Other people makes the videos for you, right? You can go make your own by all means. And in the checklist, we show you like a ton of different ways to actually make the video. So there's tons of stuff, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and there's more coming, right? It's going to go all the way down here like this of options. You don't have to do everything. It's just because different people like different things, right? So we actually had 
live classes. And so we were in a live class today and, you know, had different people saying, oh, we want to do this. And other people were like, no, I like to do this style. That's fine. And then other people were like, no, nah, I just don't want to do any of the videos. Like just, just give me the videos. So it's cool. Just go to Viral Video Vault and you can get all the videos and just download them. And then once you have the videos and you download it, the email capture is easy because that's just literally like building a web page basically where, you know, just looks like, well, we saw the the one before where it had like the, you put your email address in and you go, right? The hard part is the actual selling and the sending of the emails is automatic with, uh, the CRM It's going to send them all, but the hard part is like selling them all. But ChatGPT just does that. You know, it's so amazing and it's just getting better because this version is supposed to be able to, um, do even more things. So it's just like super beta at the moment or whatever. I don't know what they're calling it anyways. So that is chat GBT four and the kind of setup. If you want to get started as we get onto this long video, thanks for sticking with me. Of course, this website right here, there's three really, um, this website right here gets you the checklist of the companies that you will pay you to promote their stuff and get you the link for the Facebook group. So that's at this website. Then at the viral video vault website is where you can download all of the videos and that sort of stuff that you can repost. But ultimately, the master checklist is here at this website right here and you can jump over there and there's even another free training on here this page but um grab that checklist that is this checklist and it is growing every single day i'm adding new stuff in here and answering questions and building out content and giving you new methods that we discover along the way and so that's the master checklist grab that and then just get started making money and the thing is just start and so jump over there to this place right here to the URL, grab the short form checklist and happy money making.